Hello friends, so today I was thinking of just filming how I do my nails at home because you know nail stores haven't been open in a really long time and your girl has to do her nails because my nails are very very how can you say it they're very thin and they break very very they're very weak that's the word and I've been doing dip for some time now and I haven't been able to go to the nail salon because obviously everything is closed so I bought myself a little like dip kit but I don't really like it as much so therefore for my birthday I asked for another one and I think I'll go more in depth with that one but right now I'll just do the kiss one and hopefully you guys like it. I just want to show you the technique and what works for me when doing dips so yeah just stay tuned. Also don't mind my hair it's crazy. Alright so these are the things that you're going to need. Base gel, top gel, uh, activator, pH bond, brush cleaner, color, a buffer, and a whole bunch of nail files. Oh, and a brush. So you can um, brush away the powder. All right, so you're gonna need acetone. You're gonna need a Ziploc bag, paper towel in the Ziploc bag. You are going to wanna put a little bit of acetone in there. The first, oh, and you're gonna need a bowl of warm water, and you're gonna file your nails. And you're gonna put your nails in. You're going to want to rub your nails on the paper towel. Mm -hmm. Alright, so after that, you want to wash your hands, obviously, so you get all the nasty out. I still have a little bit of acetone on my fingers, but that's okay. You want to buff out your nail. Are you laughing at me? Yeah, honey. I love you, honey. Sponsored by you for honey. You're so annoying. After that, you want to go ahead and dry them in case they're wet. First thing you want to do is apply the pH bond. This is what it looks like. This will take out any oils from your fingers as I have read and seen on the YouTube. Okay, after you've done that, push your cuticle. Okay, so then we go again, pH bond. And then we have this Kiss Dip Powder. Um, I don't really know the color of it. It was just the kit that came with it. So that's what we're going to use. It is, I don't know if you can see the color, but it's pretty much a pinkish color. So we start off with the base gel. And what I like to do is, well, it's not like super thick. What I like to do, I start from here up. And then you 
I don't brush it until I've done all the fingers because you want to wait till it dries. And then you repeat. And then you repeat it. You get anything outside that you don't like, you could just clean it out. And then repeat it one last time. So they're gonna look a little crusty and thick, but then we have to use the activator so they can get hard. So I like to apply this twice just because the first time around doesn't cover all the areas. Oh, I think it's so Dang that's this. what we're gonna do right now. So you want to touch them? And if they make this noise, that means that they're ready to be filed. Hopefully. And after that, we put our top jaw on. Alright, so that's how they look. All right, well, I this is the final result for my nails. Thoughts on it? I don't, I'm not a fan of it, honestly, but it gets the job done. I, one of my friends just bought me another set of dip powders and I hope to try them soon and I hope I like them better. The thing with this one is that afterwards it doesn't dry that fast. Like when you go to the nail salon, you know how it dries within like a minute or two? This does not do that, and sometimes it dries and it looks very dull. So I don't like that effect. I mean, I mean it does for it does it does a job for now, but this is not something I would go and buy if we weren't on quarantine. So yeah, um, this is the final result. This is the final result for my nails, and they're okay. I mean, they're not horrible, but again. This is just something I'm doing because of quarantine and yeah. So I also bought this uh, cuticle oil for my nails and it's like a pen so you don't even have to touch your nails and you just do this and that's it. That's all good. So that is the final result for my nails. I hope I inspired you somewhere or another to get your nails done at home and waste less money when nail salons do open up and yeah so I'll let you guys know when I get my other set of dip powders maybe I'll make a video on that one maybe it is a little bit better but this one is just listen it's last resort and if you want to get it you can go ahead and get it I got it off of Amazon it is a kiss set um I mean it was like eight dollars I want to say I don't think it was it was something like that I don't think it was more than that so it was definitely worth for the money um, but I definitely wouldn't buy this if I were to be doing my own nails at home all the time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.